no secret, Seattle has been struggling with chronic criminal offenders. Tonight, Seattle asked leaders from Minneapolis to share how their innovative strategies reduce crime there by 56 percent. Camera 7's Gary Horker is live in downtown. And Gary, Minneapolis police saw at least one thing in Seattle that they would not tolerate there. That's true, and we learned one thing here. Their business leaders have an agreement with police, prosecutors, social workers. They all work together to try and reduce crime in Minneapolis. But one thing they do, they say they definitely prosecute drug crimes, like drug dealing. When the assistant police chief from Minneapolis took a tour here, he could not believe the prolific heroin dealing in open air here at Third and Pine. Every day, I don't want to lie. This isn't maybe not for Seattle, but it is working for us. This group dramatically improved the safety of downtown Minneapolis over the last nine years. Their top strategy, keeping up with the city's repeat offenders from the streets to homeless camps. A lot of times the outreach workers already know them. But assistant Minneapolis police chief Mike Yo said his department strictly enforces drug dealing. He said he was shocked seeing all the open air drug dealing here on 3rd Avenue. I don't see that same level uh, in Minneapolis, uh, that openness, where they weren't trying to hide it at all. And his jaw dropped. I mean, we walked by open narcotics dealing, where I could see the product, we could see the money, and he was floored. And the truth of the matter is, I wasn't. Well, walking back to our hotel last night, we came across people shooting up, just standing right on the sidewalk in front of you. So there's some areas for improvement. Uh, that's. Uh, <laughs> But while the Minneapolis panel talked about their strategies, this doesn't really identify Seattle's problem. Business owner Ty Myers said the difference here in Seattle is too few police officers and a lack of law enforcement support from city leaders. We've been nice to criminals. We've been nice to people that we probably shouldn't have been nice to. We've done that for now seven years. This is what it's gotten us. It is now time to give the law enforcement back the stick. Well, the Minneapolis strategy we were told tonight involves trying to take criminals, first time criminals, and keep them from becoming criminally negligent repeat criminals. And they say it involves a lot of outreach, officers drug counseling, but jail is definitely part of their plan and they say it's working. Crime is down over the course of nine years, about 74% for recidivism. And they said before they started their plan nine years ago, their nickname for downtown Minneapolis was Murderapolis. And we're live tonight at Third and Pine. I'm Gary Horker, Kyra 7 News.